much said it all. So we're here with our artist, Lisa Lopez, and what is henna? What is it exactly? <clears throat> henna is a leaf from a bush, and the bush native to Africa, Mediterranean area, and the Middle East. The leaf is powdered, as you see here, and the paste is made with the powder. And the leaf has a dye in it that is like a red, makes a red hue, cherry red, dark red, burgundy. So the longer you leave it on, the more it can saturate. What it's do is the, the dye in the henna is bonding with the keratin in your skin, with the protein. Mm -hmm. So it hits that top layer only. Like a tattoo goes down, like I think the fifth layer, mm -hmm. yeah. How long does it last when you put it on your body? On your palms or the bottom of your feet, like I said, it will get really dark. It'll last anywhere from three to four weeks. Other places, like below the chest or neckline, about two weeks. So this is kind of like if you want to have a tattoo on you that you'd like to test. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. Where is the weirdest? <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest thing you had to draw. The weirdest thing I had to draw. Yeah. That you had um, to draw wow. Oh, uh, it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think of any of them as as weird. I was something that didn't happen. Someone asked me once to. Would I henna a wiener dog on her chest? <laughs> and I was kind of happy that one didn't happen because I, I was like, how am I going to draw a wiener dog? <laughs> and henna the weirdest, where on the their weirdest chest. Place. The weirdest place? Uh -huh. Oh, I had these kids at Fiesta come, these guys from the high schools, I guess, and they were daring one of their friends to get a mustache. <laughs> and I normally talk people out of getting their face because it won't last very long. Right. But they, they begged and pleaded and they were daring him, so we did a mustache to here, and then everyone was laughing so hard. And the guy, his friend said, make it go a little more. <laughs> so we pulled it down and then we laughed for a few more minutes about yeah. that. And they said, one more, all the way down with a curl. <laughs> I know what I want to get for my assistant, a Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> all over, like all the parts of his face. <laughs> 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 Santa Fe is a mecca for the arts, and Lisa Lopez's body art is just another way of expressing that artistic energy. Lisa Lopez has taken henna art to the next level, taking something that has origins in ancient times and making it modern, fun, and fabulous. We're all done, and now I'm going to tell you what you can do to take care of your henna. First of all, don't get it wet while the paste is on. While that paste is on, it's staining the top layer of your skin. You also want to be careful not to smudge it. What we can do is, in a few more minutes when it's dry, I can lay a wrap over it. I use like a Metaphor tape. It's kind of like paper towel with a sticky side Are you until you're ready. That she can take a shower for 10 days. <laughs> to be like Just a overnight. <laughs> overnight is okay. Six oh, to yeah. eight well, hours. I don't want to be like an Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <You're fired. laughs>